My name is Brandy Nichols with Brandy Nichols Realty and I'm here to bring you October's market update. So this is October of 2024 and we are going to talk about the trends in that area, how long homes are sitting on the market, um, are we in a buyer's market, are we in a seller's market, you know, where do we stand here in St. Charles Parish. So let's dive in. What I'm going to do is do a comparison between homes that sold in October of 2023 versus 2024 to kind of gauge and see like where is our market going compared to last year. So let's dive in to 2023 stats for October. So in October of 2023, we had 30 homes sell and 11 homes go expired. Um, and then out of those 30 homes that sold, almost half of them actually sold within 30 days. So a lot of homes were coming on the market in 50% of the time almost, because I wanna say to be exact, it was, um, it was 14. So 14 out of the 30 homes that sold last October actually sold within 30 days, which is pretty good. And just to give you a couple of the other stats, it was seven between 31 and 60 and then three between 61 and 90. So a good bit of them within three months were, were so getting sold fairly quickly out of the 30. Another thing that I noticed when it comes to days on the market is the smaller, cheaper homes are actually sitting on the market a lot less days than what the more expensive homes are. So the more expensive homes are typically the bigger um, your bigger homes. So if I look at the stats from 2023, the two and three bedroom homes, they were, well, your average sales price of a two bedroom was about 150 and the average sales price of a three bedroom, 226. So, um, and then it went from eight days on the market for the two bedrooms because, you know, that's under 200,000. And then it went up to 37 days on the market average for a three bedroom. And then it went up to the four bedrooms, um, that average sales price was 283 for a four bedroom. And those homes, days on the market average was 81 days on the market. Now that, we can't look at days on the market as, um, you know, average of what your home would typically sit for because remember more than half of those homes sold under 30 days, but there might've been one that actually sold that sat on the market, one that was on the market for more than 366 days. So that would really mess up the numbers. So it may not truly be 80 days, but probably longer than your 30 days because the more expensive homes typically sit on the market a little bit longer. Now, looking at this year, 2024 stats for um, sales price and days on the market, it trends the same way. The smaller homes were cheaper. Um, actually, the two and the three bedroom homes were both average about 225 and um, between 200 and 225,000. And then the four bedrooms was 329 was your average sales price for those. And then those days on the market went from 12, 34, to 71. So again, it trends up. So the smaller homes were sold quicker. And then um, the bigger they are, the more price they are, the more they tend to sit on the market a little longer. The reason is for that, for that, um, I believe is just our, our pre-approved buyers. Whenever you're looking at the smaller homes, a lot of investors are looking to pick those up as rentals. Um, and then you're also looking at, um, you know, your first time home buyers or people that just don't want a really high house note. And, um, you know, so those tend to go quicker. They're just more affordable. Those homes just seem to move a little quicker. They're just more affordable. So the larger homes are still selling. They're just sitting on the market a little bit longer. So let's compare that to 2020. For this current year that just passed, October of 2024, we actually had 23 homes sell. So out of the 23 homes, again, almost half of those sold within the first 30 days. So to dive in a little deeper, out of the 23, we had 11 sell within the first 30 days. We had three sell between 31 and 60 days. And then we had six sell between 61 and 90. So again, a good bit of them are actually being sold within three months. 
Um, they do have a few homes that will sit on the market a little longer and will really affect the days on the market whenever we average those out. But for the most part, homes that are selling out of those, they're only gonna be on the market for, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, more than half of them. Now let's compare the expired. So the expired listings in October of 2023, we had stated was 11. And this year, October, we actually had 16 homes expire. So we had a little uptick of homes that sat on the market, typically whatever their listing agreement is for, let's say it was six months, it was expiring and then coming off the market. They were not extending, they were not um, relisting or anything like that with that agent. So what does that mean for you as a buyer or a seller? So are we in a buyer's or seller's market? Almost. None. We're like, it is so leveled out right now. First, let me give you a fun tip. In order to be in a buyer's or seller's market, you have to have more than six months of inventory. So for example, last year we had, well actually no, this year. This year we had a hundred, we have 139 homes on the market in October of 2024. So we had 139, but we only had 23 homes sell. So if only 23 homes sold, that gives us a little bit more than six months of inventory. Meaning if no new homes came on the market and we continue to sell 23 homes for six months in a row, we still have homes left over on the market. Not many, because we literally just went over the six month mark. Now, if we sell 10 more homes, um, then we technically would have been in a buyer's market. So when I say we're, we're really, really on an even playing field, I guess we can say for, are we in a buyer's market or a seller's market? I would say we're both. We have a lot of homes for buyers to choose from. Um, we don't have a whole lot of buyers, but we don't have an abundance of, like this is a pretty healthy market, I would say. A buyer doesn't have to come in and just pick what they get, you know? It's not like they just have to say, oh, well that house just came on the market, I'm gonna have to hurry up and put an offer on it and just get what you get and don't have a fit like it was three years ago. It's not that way right now. So I feel it's a healthier market because buyers have time to actually go view the homes, pick which homes they like, um, really get a home that fits their lifestyle in their family instead of just taking what they can get because they're afraid they're gonna lose it because if they wait too long, then you know someone else is gonna scoop it up. So I do feel that when negotiating, because we're not, we're just getting into a buyer's market, just leaving a seller's market, um, it's gonna take both parties to have some give and take to make deals work. You know, if a seller is acting like, you know, this is what it was three years ago and you know, my home's worth this and I'm not giving any concessions and you know, act like they are, you know, are in power like it was three years ago, then it might be very hard for a buyer and a seller to come together and actually make a deal work because in the market from what I'm seeing in the units that I'm selling, it is taking a good bit of negotiating between the buyer and the seller and give and take on both sides. It's not a one-sided deal like it was several years ago. So to sum things up, we are um, in a pretty healthy market right now. If you're looking to buy, you have time to get your pre-approval, take your time to look and look for the right home. If you are in the market to sell your home, it is still not a bad time. Um, yes, we are around the holidays, but there's always people that need to buy or sell. People don't just put their life on hold and I'm just gonna wait till after the first of the year if they truly are looking for a home. There's always people pre-approved and ready to go. I mean, I have several showings on a lot of my properties that I have this week alone. So I know that there's still buyers out there looking. Um, if you are looking to buy or sell, um, you just wanna chat with me, um, talk to me about the market. Um, I'm never too busy to help. So give me a call. Bye.